California and you know Dylan? Hi guys. This is our uh, last announcement together. We're pretty excited. Now we, uh, Dylan's going away to school so we wanted to do a little bucket list. You know that's a big thing it was in a movie. We wanted to try a few things before he went away. So we, uh, we've we been starting all week. Our, our first thing we wanted to do was pants Mr. Mena. And if you take a look outside the flagpole today you'll see his pants are hanging up there on the flagpole. We managed to do that. I see it right there. Yeah there it is. Hello, they look Hello. good. Hey, we also wanted to uh, do a little skydiving blindfolded. Uh, we were told that that might not be safe, but you know, we still may try that. Yeah. And I've always wanted to learn how to throw a javelin, but I just don't know where we'd ever find a javelin. Oh, hey, look. Hey, look, it's Jamie. Jamie's got a javelin. Wow. What a coincidence. Unbelievable. Could you show me how to throw a javelin? Okay. Perfect. Hey, run down there. Find out how far I can throw it. So okay, just, so what do I need to do? You go like this, you pull it back, you need to throw it. Oh, and it sticks in the ground like that. Okay, I could try that. Here we go, BT. <laughs> it should be interesting. Going pretty far. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Dylan! Oh. oh my god, Dylan. Dylan, are you okay? Are you okay? Where, where am I? You're on the field. You got hit with a javelin. I feel so cold. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I'll take care of you. Help! We need a medic! I see the light. It's so beautiful. No, no, no. Stay away from the light. Stay away from the light. Don't go near the light, Dylan. No! Oh, Dylan, no! You're my boy, Dylan. You're my boy. Oh, Dylan. Oh, buddy. Oh, thanks, Jamie. Oh. Take care, bud. Tuesday next week. Tuesday next week. Okay, guys and dolls correction. Okay, as you can tell, I, uh, we're doing a little live interview here. I'm going to bring in my assistant this week. My wife wouldn't let me come in this morning without my personal physician. So I'd like everyone to meet my guest and my, my personal physician, Dr. Nick Riviera. Come on in, Doc. There you go. Okay, if you take a look here, we're interviewing. This is our, our friendly spec reporter. We've all become very aware of him. Uh, she just flew in, thankfully she's here. She's here to give blood today, so that's pretty good. Hopefully everyone else is giving blood. I'd like to bring in Ms. Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. Now she's out of work, that's not that she was actually ever in work. I saw you on American Idol, I gotta tell you, you're one of the most untalented people I've ever met. What? Really, you are. You're cute though. Actually, it's our new vice president. Now, I got a beef about you because I, I watched your announcement in your speech and you were talking about this DJ Punjabi and this curry stuff. Why don't you tell the audience where you're really from? Switzerland. Switzerland. It's not East Indian. I thought you were from Sweden, so. Nate, I am your father. <laughs> Morning, BT. Sorry, I got asthma. I shouldn't be under a mask like that. I want to welcome you to another year of weather and stupidity. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mr. Fournier. And we're going to start with the weather. It's a beautiful sunny day, as you can tell. Good. So what do you do all day? It sounds like some of our staff members. They do a kicking and swimming and a lot of sleeping. Okay, now we had a question last night. It was a success. We delivered our first child on TNT. We'd like you to introduce. Well, we'd like to introduce you to Mrs. Doolittle's new child, who's quite heavy, I might add. There you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Isn't he cute? It's great. Thank you for sharing some history with us today, uh, uh, BT. I can't even talk now. You're so heavy. And I want to wish Mrs. Doolittle all the best. Thank you. Take care. Hey, have a great day, BT. Now, without further ado, I know you just saw an election video. I want to bring out my candidate from the Maroon and Gray Party, Mr. Dylan Pereira. Now, some of you last week had a little trouble understanding our campaign philosophy. So, I raised about $17 and what, 85 cents in campaign funds, and you went and blew it all on some campaign promotion video. Hey, you know, two things wrong with that video. First of all, we have a prime minister in Canada, not a president. So that whole thing is garbage. Sorry. Secondly, how'd you get my mom to put a tattoo on her back? Wrong story. Oh, oh, sure. You know, one of these days, we're going to get in trouble. Uh-oh. Is there an administrator behind me? Is it Mr. Gallo? Oh, no. Hi, sir. <laughs> hey, sir. You just hated Mr. Poirier. You can't do that. Oh. How about you? <laughs> Sometimes you have to be prepared for the unexpected. I am Cal, hear me moo, I weigh twice as much as you, and I look good on the barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, yogurt, curd, cream cheese, and butters made from liquid from my udders. I am Cal, I am Cal, hear me moo. Moo. Lactose intolerant. Oh yeah. my. But I still eat ice cream and stuff because, you know. Coconut <laughs> cream pie, guys. Coconut cream pie. Okay, so basically, just gonna shove your head like a dog in these. Okay. So basically, you have to eat these pies with no hands. So, face first. Ready? You wanna take your glass off? No? Okay. Ready? Get her done. Oh my god. Oh god. Hey! All year long I've been on, I'm very shy. A lot of you know that. No, I actually am. And I haven't been able to go on without my trusty sidekick. So I got him a little quote that says, Sidekick of the Year. It says, Sidekick of the Year, Hi Domi. So I'd like to present that to you. Wanna be with you, wish I could keep you much longer 